and welcome to Majestic Christian Television Network. And uh, my name is Apostle Larry Dog, you know, and it's a delight to welcome you to the broadcast tonight. Shall we pray? Father, we thank you for this privilege of declaring and also receiving your word. We pray that you will cause this word to be fruitful in the lives of the hearers. In Jesus' name, I want to thank you for this channel through which you are propagating your holy word. Let it be that good seed we produce a 30, 60, and 100 fold increase. To you be the praise and the glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And amen. Once again, welcome. And my name is Apostle Larry Dockenu. And uh, I want to continue the message I began to share at the other time. I was speaking of speaking about or speaking on the topic receiving supernatural strength. And the reason why I had to uh, I felt led to speak on this topic is to stress the fact that a point comes in your life when your natural strength and abilities you know are not able to carry you the distance you so you want to go. We we run short of breath, we run short of strength, we run short of ideas, we run short of ways and means of accomplishing the desires of our hearts. But I need you to know that there comes also from God a supernatural enablement which will take you across the bar, across the wall, and into the realms that you have desired to go. And for you who have who has tried everything for you, who has you know done all you know to do, and you have gotten to a point where uh, your, your your strength can't carry you no more, I want to assure you that God, your God and my God, has a power. And as there has a place where he increases his strength. The scripture which I read last time, and I want to read that again tonight, is Isaiah chapter 40 from the verse um, 29. No, let me take it from the verse uh, 20. It says, Do you not know and have you not heard? The everlasting, the Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth. He will not grow tired or weary, and his understanding no one can fathom. Then verse 29 says, He gives strength to the weary, and he increases the power of the weak. Remember the emphasis and the focus here is on what God does for the weak. He says he increases the power of the weak. He gives strength to the weary. Anybody who has become weary, exhausted, tired, Blown out. The Bible says God will increase your strength. God will give you power. Hallelujah. It says, even youths grow tired and weary, and young men stumble and fall. But those who hope in the Lord will renew their strength. This was my uh, base scripture uh, the last time I was sharing on this topic. There was a story I wanted to get into, but I didn't have the time. But let me make reference to the fact that our supernatural, our natural strength can be supplemented and even over supplemented by the power of God. I recall I, I shared about how Elijah, who had been busy the whole day, dealing with wickedness in the land of Israel, judging and killing the prophets of, of Baal, uh, those idol worshippers, those false prophets, the whole day he had been busy with that. And the Bible says after he had finished that, he went to the mountain, Mount Carmel, and knelt down and began to pray and to call upon God to release the rains. And the rains did in fact come. And the Bible says that he got, he told, Eli, uh, he told Ahab the king, he said, go ahead because if you do not live on time, you may be stopped by the rain. And Ahab, Ahab got upon his chariots and that means, a chariot is a horse-driven vehicle, you know, and so he got on the char on the on the uh, on the chariot, and the Bible says Ahab told him, "You must you must ride as fast as you can." So I can imagine he kind of hit the horse. The king must have hit the horse so that the horse could ride as fast as possible. The next thing we see is that Elijah, the man Elijah, began to run. The Bible says he tucked in. 
the, he took his clothes into his belt and began to run. And the Bible says he ran faster than Elijah, uh, than the King Ahab who was riding a horse. What does this tell you? God is able to give us a supernatural ability, supernatural strength to outdo our natural abilities. And that is what I am calling, I'm crying out unto God and I'm, I'm pleading with him for your behalf, on your behalf that he will do something for you, he will do something for me, he will do something extraordinary in this very year. That where our strength and our abilities have failed, God's supernatural resources will flow into our lives. Hallelujah. God will once in a while do something extraordinary to show you that he has not forsaken you. He will show you that your strength and your abilities are minimal or are insignificant in comparison with what he can do for you. Receive that power. Receive that strength right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let me share with you another example quickly um, concerning how God can give us supernatural strength. When I say strength, it means not only physical strength, but it also means supernatural, uh, intellectual strength or financial strength. Anything that gives you power. Anything that gives you enablement to be to, to excel, God can give. Especially when your natural abilities have run out. Your natural resources have come to an end. I want you to know that God is able to give you more than what you can give yourself. Or what any man or woman can give to you for that matter. Say, I hear you. And here we see... In the book of Judges chapter 16, I'm not going to read the story because of, of time constraints, but I want you to know, in Judges chapter 16, the Bible says that something, he was a man endowed with supernatural strength. But it happened that something fell in love with a woman called Delilah, and, and Delilah set out. He, she was on a mission to discover the source of the supernatural strength. If your strength, you know, in God is in your fasting and your prayer or in your worship, you must make sure that you don't divulge that secret to, to a Jezebel or a Delilah who might be coming to your life. Why? Well, because that the mission of that woman or that person or that spirit, it is to find a way to neutralize that power and that grace from working in your life. The grace which God has put up in your life, you must know that the grace is a God-given ability for you to function above your natural abilities and your natural credentials. Grace is a supernatural and, and a divine endowment which God puts in our lives to help us function. And it makes us excel and to do things normally others cannot do. That's why it is called grace. So, And that grace usually comes because of your relationship with God, because God has endowed you with that so that you can accomplish something for His glory. Hallelujah. And when God has put that in your life, you must watch over, you must preserve, you must, you must cover up, you must not, you must not break the rules, if you like. Covenant, that covenant relationship with the Lord. Now, something had a covenant with the Lord, and that covenant uh, until the following, he mustn't drink any alcohol, he mustn't touch any dead thing, uh, and what else, there's one more, and he mustn't cut his hair. And so something was forbidden to do all of these three things. We call this the Nazarite vow. Now, and because of that, something was very, very strong, more than any other human being. He would kill thousands and hundreds at one time. And the people could not understand how come they could not capture something. They could not, you know, tame him. But you know what? Delilah came on an assignment to discover the strength of something. And she had a contract. She had been paid by the elders of the Philistines. And they promised her a lot of money, 11,000 uh, uh, shekels of, of silver. And that was quite a lot of money. And Delilah's mission was to discover the secret of something strength. And so eventually... She managed to bug something until something was so worn out that something had to divulge the secret of his strength. And he told, 
He told her, if you cut off my hair, I will become as a normal human being. In other words, there are normal human beings, people who have only natural abilities and natural strength and natural intelligence, but there are also people who have what, supernatural abilities and supernatural intelligence. I pray that God will endow you with supernatural grace and wisdom and ability, ability to make money, ability to succeed in your business, ability to succeed in your in the ministry, ability to do what normal people cannot do. Receive that right now. I don't know what you are dealing with, but if you have come to a point of weakness, God is able to supply the strength you need. And that's the point I am making right now. Hallelujah. That's what I want you to, to remember. Now, to cut a long story short, some saying because he opened up the secret to his strength, the Philistines now succeeded in capturing him. How miserable, how pitiable that something gave up the secret of his strength. And now the enemy neutralized his strength and the anointing left him. And so they began to use him and to make sport of him. But one day, the Bible says the Philistines were having a big feast. And now... They, they, they thought that they had already crippled something. And so they decided to invite him. They sent for him. And by this time, they had also blinded him. They invited him to come to the, this big pavilion, sitting, sitting thousands of people. And they were celebrating and feasting and giving credit to their God. Sometimes when the enemy succeeds in having a victory against us, they celebrate and they jubilate. But let me tell you, the Lord will increase your strength. The Lord will give back to you what you lost. The Lord will supply the strength you need to triumph again over the enemy. Now, here was something. He had become plain like an ordinary man. He had become so weak like any other person. Unknown to the enemy, his hair had begun to grow. And he decided that it was time to receive supernatural strength from God. Pray with me and say, Father... In the name of Jesus, give me supernatural strength, supernatural insight, supernatural skill, supernatural understanding to deal with the things confronting me now. I need, oh God, wisdom and skill, intelligence to confront and to deal with the things that are facing me right now. I receive that from you in Jesus' name. Something prayed and said, God, Help me. Restore my strength. I want to die with these Philistines. Give me back my strength, O oh God. Let me avenge them. Avenge myself for the, my eyes they took away. He prayed that prayer. And then they let, he asked the little boy who was leading him to take him to the two pillars supporting that whole structure. In fact, there were thousands of people who were sitting, who were in that uh, um, theater, that, that auditorium. So many thousands of people. I think it was about 3,000 or something like that. Anyhow, so something asked the little boy to lead him to that place, and, he, and they did. Hallelujah. I'm just trying to find the number. I think it was about 3,000. Yes, they, they said the roof alone was sitting about 3,000 men and women, and they were all watching something to perform. Now, what happened? After something had prayed this prayer, the Bible says the man who had been uh, subdued and crippled and chained now was repositioned between the two pillars as he had requested. And then the Bible says he positioned himself and held the two pillars. And with every strength he, he had, he pushed the pillars, those mighty pillars. Can you imagine two pillars supporting a roof, holding free thousand people it must have been a very thick one a very thick pillar hallelujah two thick pillars and he pushed he pushed with all his strength and the bible says the two pillars collapsed and the roof came down and in that incident he killed more people than he had killed in all his life what am i saying supernatural strength came back to him. God can give you something beyond your natural abilities. God can supply us abilities which surpasses our human 
and natural abilities. And that's what we need right now. I pray that for you in the name of Jesus Christ, that whatever you have lacked, whatever you have run short of, whatever you have lost, God Almighty will supply unto you in abundance, strength in abundance, power in abundance, anointing in abundance, grace in abundance, utterance in abundance, victory in abundance, whatsoever you need to receive it anew in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. This is what you need to know. This is what you have to hear. That there is supernatural strength in God. There is supernatural grace in God. There are supernatural abilities which only God can give. Receive your portion right now. I said receive your portion right now. Receive your portion right now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Father, I thank you. I thank you for what you have done. I thank you for speaking to us. I thank you for encouraging us. I thank you for letting us know that where our natural credentials and our natural skills, our natural strength has left us and abandoned us, you can come in with something divine, with something supernatural. We receive it right now and let it take effect and let it work in Jesus' name. We thank you and we receive it and we shall testify of your awesome grace and power in our lives. We give you praise and glory tonight in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you have heard this message and you feel encouraged and challenged and you want to call, give me a call on the number showing on the screen and I will gladly talk with you, pray with you, or whatever you will need. I'll be glad enough to, uh, to, to be a, a help to you. Thank you so very much for spending this time with me and I look forward to coming your way again next time. God bless you. Bye-bye.